Yo, I'm here with Christian Thomas, who just made second place at the European Championship in Utrecht 2023 after coming fifth place in the World Championship Qualifier Playoff, but he still got his spot in the World Championship. So, Christian, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm feeling very well. On Friday, I was very upset because I got fifth place after literally grinding like a whole year for this. Uh, but then I told myself, hell, hey, I can still do it. I just need to top four the main event. And this is what happened, of course. It kind of had a bittersweet ending because I had the win for the European Championship right in front of me. But then I just thought the uh, Muda had 2100 defense and I thought it was game and time. Apparently it wasn't. So that was a pretty big throw. But hey, I will still take second place and I'm going to Worlds. So. Absolutely. Okay. You're still a champion. And as you said, you just still go to Worlds. So it really doesn't matter. So let's get into the deck. Let's see what you brought to the tournament. Yeah, so um, I played Kashira. I thought this was the best deck for this event. And my Kashira list is also kind of different from everyone else's. So I will just show the list. So I played two Unicorn, three Fenrir, uh, three Rise, one Skyrakdor. This is kind of standard. Uh, some people only play two, but I just like to have more names and more starters. Then uh, for other starters, I played three Field Spell, Terraforming. Uh, free Theosis, Free Birth, and Free Prosp, and only one Desires. Um, the reason for this was is that I just wanted another starter, um, but I didn't want too many starter cards because I also wanted to have a good count of defenses in my deck, and also Desires and Prosperity have like a really big conflict, so by only playing one, you just reduce the chance of drawing two, uh, of drawing like both the pots together or drawing two Desires together, so that's why I think um, only one Desires was fine, since it is just the worst starter than everything else already, so that worked out pretty well. Um, so it did work out well? You were satisfied with the Desires? Oh yeah, no, for sure. I, I would still play the one, 100%. Cool. And then uh, the part that was different about my Christian list from everyone else's is that I still played hand traps instead of ward breakers, so um, I played a lot of handshots. I played three Ash, three Vela, uh, three Morna, three Nibiru, and three Imbron. So I know that a lot of people don't like those cards anymore, and they're playing cards like Book of Moon, Econ, Dark Ruler. But I just thought like the handshots were better, to be honest, because I think outside of the mirror match, you're not winning with stuff like Econ, Book of Moon, or Talents, Thrust going second versus Dragon Link, Despia, Rooney, because those board breakers are just way too weak. And also the problem with stuff like Dark Ruler for Ras Fear like yes, those cards are impactful versus stuff like Runic, but then you draw those going first and it's not like you Kashira turn one order wins. So that's why I just decided for Hanches because those are both good going first and going second. And I also thought like in testing, especially if you pair two handshots paired together or even three, which is definitely possible since I'm playing 15, is that uh, they work really well. And the only downside was of course giving up on the mirror match game one. Like I do expect my deck to be worse there. But that's why I accounted for that in the side deck. And then uh, the last uh, tech card was just one Econ. Uh, this was a 40th card. Like, I didn't uh, think that any other hand job was good, so I just played the one Econ as pretty much my 16th non engine slot. And yeah, then, but just quickly uh, uh, catching yeah. up on the hand traps, because there's, of course, one very specific hand trap missing, and that's Dimension Shifter. Why did you decide to play so many hand traps but to miss out on that one? Yes, so Shifter, of course, was a consideration for me this weekend too, but I just expected a lot of mirror matches, and in the mirror match it's just a dead card game one, so I pretty much wanted my non-engine to be live in all matchups, and I thought that the non-engine I'm playing is pretty much live, like, yes, you can argue handshots are not that good in the mirror than like stuff like Econ Boot, but at the end of the day, like, Vela, Morna, they still trade with like a Unicorn, which I think is good because sure, maybe it doesn't stop their play, maybe it does, but even if it doesn't, it at least cuts the follow-up and that is important versus the mirror match because it can be pretty grindy. And then uh, the last cut in the deck was just one big thing. So that's the main deck uh, for the cards. I don't think I would change anything. It's uh, worked pretty well. Like the stuff with the hand is also, like I forgot to mention this, um, for example, with Vela, you can do Omega turn one sometimes, which also plays around board breakers. With Mona, you can do a uh, Baron play turn one, which plays on stuff like Evenly, so and, and Hibiro 2, of course. So I think I think it was a pretty good choice um, to actually like first. So pretty standards. Uh, it was two Shangri, one Arise. I don't think he needed a third one. Then I played some two offs because in the mirror match, um, those cards are very important. And in the mirror match, there's this dynamic that Unicorn can banish one of them. So I kind of feel like that you need a second copy of those copies uh, of those cards. Um, and then some one-offs, I played uh, Dark Armed, the one Drake Stack, Infinity Tracker. This is just there to make uh, four material Zeus, those really XYZs that I played. And then for Synchros, of course, the Baron, which 
in my deck comes up more often because I'm playing Mana, while other people are not playing that. Uh, the Omega is a cross target, but also, like I said, you can um, make it with the Vela. And then I play Skull Knights and Goliath as cross target. This is pretty good against Runic, I think, um, because of uh, the spell that pops, but it also protects from Dark Hole. And this one I thought was better than Garura, because I don't think the draw one matters that much. But if you attach this to a Rysel and they kill it, for example, and end on like a Zeus, or like any monster that's threatening to you, this one can just out a monster, so I thought that was pretty good. And then lastly, Rondega, of course, is pretty important, um, especially in my version, because I'm playing a lot of hand traps, right? So when I'm playing versus Runic, they often do a mannequin play, which gives me a monster that I need to clear, because otherwise I just can't summon like Fenrir or Unicorn. So that's where this usually comes up, but then also since I played Nibiru, sometimes it's not possible to crush Nibiru into their token, and then you also need like to normal some something like a hand trap or a rise up, make this clear up your zone, and then you can play again with the Kashiras. So there was the extra deck, and then lastly for side deck, um, as you mentioned already, there's three shifters, because I do pretty much put it in versus any other deck except the mirror. Uh, but I just thought the mirror was that important that I could not main this card. Um, You're absolutely also siding in with this in versus Runic decks, right? Don't yeah, you? for sure. Yeah. Runic uh, going first, going second. Pretty much everything that's not the mirror and against Lab I also didn't put it in. Mm -hmm. uh, then I played two Lightning Storms, one Feather. This is uh, mainly for the mirror because it's pretty good. Like in the mirror, I just choose second post sides. Um, those are blowouts in my opinion, especially when people are like on books and stuff like that. Uh, but also versus Lab, of course. Um, and then for the rest of the side, so like I said, my main deck was not that good against the mirror, so I needed more cards. So that's why I played two talents and uh, two thrust. I went with the two two ratio instead of three one because thrust can also become like a feather dust or a storm, of course. It also can become engine, so that's why I kind of wanted to have like at least two copies of thrust um, because it's just like you know it accesses everything pretty much. Uh, then I started the second and the third copy of econ. Also again for the mirror match, um, but I also cited it versus stuff like Rika going first, or versus, <laughs> yeah, shoutouts uh, to Jessica, and uh, versus Sprite going first too. And then last three cards were anti spell which was honestly very, very good. Uh, I think this card's just insane. Like, even in the mirror, since everyone lets you start, you just cite an anti spell and then when you draw anti spell it's literally an auto win against the mirror, because if they don't draw Cosmic Cycle, and like, all their quick plays are dead, all their Econs, Talents, Thrust, Storm, doesn't do anything, so, I think, especially in Kashiro, like you just need to have a broken card for the mirror match when they get to choose and make the start, and that's where I as well is pretty good. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much the deck. I don't think I would change anything. I think it was pretty good, like I said. I did well in the playoffs. I did well at Euros. I think if you watch the finals, like I could have won, so I really think this was the best deck. Um, and yeah, at the end, I want to give some shoutouts. Obviously, shoutouts to uh, Team Raiden Trade, my team. Uh, shoutouts to SmartGuards, our sponsor. Um, you can check them out on Twitter. And then also shoutouts to Drizzles. Uh, he pretty much followed me this entire deck. I really appreciate it. Uh, also for us, like, continue supporting the event. Then, for sure, shout out to Paolo, my main testing partner. Um, I definitely would not be the player that I am today without him. Like, he helped me a lot in the progress of going to Worlds. Uh, shout out to Hani, who also helped me a lot. Um, and then, you know, shout out to pretty much all my friends that helped me, like, to name a few, like Jonas, Luca. They always supported me when I was, like, a bit tilted during rounds. Um, let me just see if I forget, I'm, I'm forgetting someone. Yeah, honestly, just, just shout out to all of my friends. There's too many people to name. Shout, shout out to Rob, shout out to my family. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so once again, congratulations. We will hope to fully see some good results from you at the World Championship. Sure. So stay tuned for more.